when the going gets tough, upgrade. I'm sure that when you fired up 5.2 of Cura, you've seen the notification that Cura 5.3 is now available for download. We're going to take a look at what's new in Cura 5.3 and get you back to pushing plastic. Sadly, the Christmas tree supports that were showcased in the alpha release of 5.3.0 are not part of this upgrade. Aww. I know. I'm bummed out too. Christmas tree supports use less material and have branches that are smaller in diameter and able to reach into some tricky areas into a model. These supports are supposed to be easier to remove and with less material being used, well, that would mean less print time. But if they aren't ready for release, they just aren't ready, and I'm sure we'll see them in a future release. If you want them now, consider downloading the 5.3 Alpha version. The first thing we're going to look at is Cura's ability to generate interlocking structures. This enables you to bond two different materials together, even if those materials aren't compatible with each other, like PPU and PLA, for example. The developers at Cura uploaded a file to Thingiverse that users could try this feature. Unfortunately, you'll need a printer with dual extrusion to take advantage of this new feature. I've downloaded the model, and I have it loaded into Cura. We'll take a look at it and see what it does. I set the main body, the brighter yellow, to be printed with PLA on extruder 1. The eye and the hinge piece, the darker color, set to print with TPU on extruder 2. In the experimental settings area, I have generate interlocking structure enabled and the interlocking beam width set to 0.4. I've already sliced this, let's take a look. Below the top surface, you'll notice this blobby area and right where the hinge and the body meet. These jagged edges are actually the interlocks to join these two parts. The same is true up here at the eyeball area. All of that is nicely hidden below the top surface. I think this is a nice feature, but unfortunately, unless you have a printer with dual extrusion, you won't be able to use it. The next feature is improved print quality and better brim. A number of the settings have been tuned to provide better print quality. They don't say what they are, they're in there somewhere. One of them that they do mention is z -Seam. Z-seam should now be aligned more evenly when printing when you're using the sharpest corner setting and selecting none as the seam corner preference. Let's take a look at the Z-seam in Cura 5.2 first. The alignment is set to user specified and the corner preference is set to none. Let's preview this. That white vertical line is the seam. It doesn't look too bad. There's a few strays up in this area down here but overall not too bad let's go to 5.3 now let's take a look at the z seam on the same model with the same settings we'll preview this and it looks pretty good less rough up here less rough down here than the seam in 5.2 I think this is a feature that works as advertised, and I think it's a pretty nice feature. It'll make some cleaner looking models. Another new feature is that supports will also now generate more reliably and with fewer unneeded support structures. I like that. I think we're all in favor of that. I have a file loaded in Cura 5.2. This is the same model I used in a previous video demonstrating how to make supports easier to remove and reduce print time. I have the supports enabled and I set the structure to trees and the placement everywhere. Let's take a look. And yes, they are everywhere. Let's take a look at the same model in Cura 5.3 and see how they compare. Quite honestly, to me, 
they look about the same. Maybe a more complex model might make a difference. Um, if you upgraded to 5.3, I'd like to know what you think about the supports down in the comments. I'm still holding out for the Christmas tree supports. Cura says that in addition to the features we already talked about, brims will now print faster and should be easier to remove. They also claim concentric tops and bottom lines are now printed in the correct order. Quite honestly, I didn't notice a problem with it before. And finally, the recommended print settings menu has been updated to include many of the most commonly changed settings, such as the option to infill pattern and support placement, and a few more. And now you can save those changes to the recommended settings for your prints. And there you have it. That's what's new in Cura. I hope this information was useful. If it was, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash the bell, not the microphone. Live your life one layer at a time. And please, don't forget to subscribe.